everyone, this is Robert here with Mod Science, Facebook Mod Science, ModScience.net. And today, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to be doing is uh, kind of showing you an overview of part two of Mayhem Blitz, their, uh, their Blitz kit. This is, uh, the part two is pretty much like, um, kind of like a soap or some sort of detergent that uh, cleans out the entire loop. Part one right here is an acid which you use primarily inside of the radiator to decontaminate it. Um, the footage that you guys saw in the previous video was for my other build. This is my Wrath build, which uh, you'll see pictures of this entire uh, loop filled with like a green coolant um, on the website, uh, website modscience.net again. Pictures, video, all that kind of stuff will be uploaded there. But um, uh, what I'm doing is I'm preparing this loop for a, uh, another coolant that I've been provided by EK. I have been selected as a beta tester for one of their new coolants. I can't, I'm not really sure if I can actually take footage or any pictures of it, but uh, as soon as I let, I know I'll probably do it and let you guys know. But um, so I am just gonna go ahead and drain. I've already blitzed the radiator. I made the mistake on this particular uh, radiator to not actually blitz it or, or clean it. Uh, you don't necessarily have to blitz it, but uh, I will say that the blitz product is, is pretty damn good. And um, so I, 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 uh, I, didn't, I didn't clean the radiators, none of them. I was brand new to it, uh, installed the radiators into the loop without cleaning anything, and then naturally I have some buildup that's occurred inside of the jet there, okay, which is not necessarily what you want. Um, so what I'm hoping that this, this flush will do is uh, I'll use this Blitz Part 2, and then I'm hoping that it'll actually clean out uh, the entire system, which it will. I've actually cleaned. Um, continuing on. Um, I blitzed and cleaned out my other um, build that I have, my Ryzen 5 build. Um, I also did take footage of that build, but I, I wasn't happy with the footage, so I figured that I would reshoot um, and cover the part two of this, of this kit here. So anyway, I'll be flushing this entire thing. So what you do, it's pretty simple. You simply take 25 milliliters of the Blitz part two um, system and this cup comes with it and uh, you just uh, you simply fill uh, you take 25 milliliters and match that to 975 milliliters of distilled or deionized water uh, in my case i will be using distilled water this jug is actually some leftover uh, of coolant that i uh, uh, sorry some of the leftover mayhem part two that i used for my previous flush um, I will be using this, uh, I will be pouring the mix into this jug and then filling this, uh, this loop itself. So what you do is you fill this thing up, um, and like, just like you normally would, and I'll show you footage of me filling it up here in just a second. And then you run the pump for uh, 12 to 24 hours continuously the first go around, okay? Uh, and I'm pretty much going to be using this for just a 12 hour time frame. And then what you do after that, after you've run this entire thing for a full 12 hours or 24 hours, depending on what you want to do, I may actually do it a little bit longer than that. Um, you drain it, of course. You refill it with the uh, part two. Okay, and after you've run the, the, your loop for about 12 to 24 hours, what you do is you drain it, and then you fill it with just regular distilled water. Then you run it for 60 minutes and then drain that, fill it again with distilled water, run it for another 60 minutes, drain that, and then run it for another 60 minutes, and then drain that from there, okay? So I will kind of show you some of the footage of this entire process uh, in later parts of this video. For, for now, I just kind of wanted to get you introduced to the second part of the system. I've covered the first part in a previous video, which should be uploaded on my site. You can check that out. Um, this kit is very good. Uh, again, $29.99 is what I purchased it for. I like the product. Um, I did just complete my other custom loop, and I will say that the coolant inside of it looks fantastic. No buildup, no gunk, nothing like that, um, even after running it for some time. So uh, I need to make sure that I take care of this system as well. And what I'm hoping after a result of this is that this buildup here, which I'm not sure you can see uh, inside of the jet, gets cleared out. So if that doesn't work, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bad boy apart and then clean it. And I can guarantee you, you will have footage of that entire process too. I've never done a cleaning of a monoblock. I have complete, uh, um, constructed and cleaned um, EK's Evo, which you kind of have to as part of an EK kit. 
But uh, yeah, I, I will have footage of that if I need to go that route. But hopefully after a 12 to 24 hour flush, this entire thing will be nice and clean. I'll drain it and get you some footage. So stay tuned. I'm going to fill this loop up and I'll show you how it works. But yeah, you just take this 25 milliliters, mix it with 970, 975 milliliters of distilled water, and you fill that bad boy up and flush the damn thing. Okay, Robert here with Mod Science again. So um, I have the 975 milliliters of uh, distilled water mixed in with the 25 milliliter of Blitz Part 2. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill my loop here. And this will be a good video to kind of, for those of you who have never really filled up a loop or anything like that, to kind of get accustomed uh, to how it all works here. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken my, my trusty little spare uh, PSU. It's actually a good uh, PSU. I pulled it out of an Intel build. It's a Cooler Master 700 Watt Silent Pro, I believe, something. Yeah, Silent Pro. And um, so what I've done is I've hooked up the bridge connector. I think that's what it's called, the bridge plug. And what it again it does is it routes the power uh, that you normally would have received, I guess, out of the motherboard. It just kind of tricks the, C the PSU into thinking that it's connected up so it can actually power on. So the only component that you hook up, if you don't already know, whenever you're, you're filling your loop is the pump. And only the uh, two pin Molex connector, not the actual smaller Molex pin connector. Um, that's normally hooked up to the motherboard. This is only, the only thing you hook up to the PSU. Make absolutely sure you don't power on the system prior to actually filling the loop because you don't. You never want to run your pump dry uh, because you'll burn it out really quick. So anyway, we'll take this and we'll go ahead and fill it up a portion. Um, just want to make sure my hand's not blocking everything, but okay. The solution itself looks kind of light blue, but when you dilute it with uh, distilled water, it's kind of a clear color. Okay. Always make sure that your fittings, everything is hooked up, connect correctly prior to powering on your loop because nothing sucks more than uh, having water shoot everywhere. I almost had a, a little bit of a mishap on my previous build because I left one of the plugs, uh, unplugged these little plugs in another one. And as the water was coming out of the, the reservoir, had I not stopped it, it would have just shot out of the top. And we're talking red coolant all over my, uh, all over my apartment. That would have been very unpleasant. Anyway, so we fill up the reservoir to a certain amount, and then we go ahead and power on the pump. Make sure your PSU is plugged in, all fittings are secure, everything is uh, sealed off correctly. Nothing else but the pump is connected, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy started. Okay, what you're seeing, that light green that you're seeing, is uh, some of the leftover coolant that I had inside of the pump. And you'll notice that um, that this coolant or this this fluid actually bubbles up. So you want to make sure that you kind of fill it slowly, because it will bubble up quite a bit the more it gets uh, through the system and power and cycles through everything. Okay. You always stop the power, you always turn the switch on the power supply off just to make sure. It kind of just serves as a nice little on off kind of deal. There you go. And you'll see all the older coolant. You ideally want to flush the entire system of the, um, the other coolant out if you can. Obviously, sometimes that's a little bit harder to do. But uh, this is good enough. But you'll see that, yeah, it kind of runs through. Got a nice pleasant foam to it all. Uh, the light green mixed with the, um, uh, the, the light green diluted with the clear uh, uh, solution makes it look kinda piss yellow. So <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, you gotta just fill this thing up. So I've completed the loop here. It's running through, everything's fine. You may wanna test for leaks and all that kind of stuff. And then, um, you can fill up the rest of your of your reservoir if you need to, although technically you probably don't even need to, but just for the heck of it, I'm going to get up a little bit more solution. Okay, and then, yeah, obviously if you're starting off from a brand new, fresh, freshly cleaned uh, or freshly installed build, it'll be a nice clear fluid running through. 
All right, so continuing on. So yeah, you would essentially just run this thing for 12 to 24 hours. Again, you normally would want to drain, do a little bit better job of, uh, of draining the entire loop. I had a little bit of coolant still left in there, right at the bottom of the monoblock. Uh, the writer had been flushed um, quite, uh, quite effectively, so there was just some coolant inside of the, uh, the, um, uh, the Monarch block that I have for the RAM modules, and then of course the mono block that I have for the CPU itself. So again, I don't know how the existing co uh, coolant uh, remaining inside of the system affects the effectiveness of the uh, part two of the system, who knows? Um, perhaps Mayhems can chime in about that, but I don't know, this is good enough for me, I'm going to let it run, and then I really do hope that some of this gunk here, which it looks like a little bit of it's cleared away, uh, but some of the buildup has occurred inside of my jet. Now, it's my fault because I didn't clean my radiator first, although uh, there are, uh, it's also possibly because of the coolant that I've been using. It's a pastel coolant, and uh, pastels have a tendency to build up in certain parts of the loop itself. So I think that some of that white filmy substance that you're seeing is uh, some of that buildup. So I may actually have to go in and disassemble this monoblock and clean it out, but I probably won't do that until I'm actually ready to, to do so. What I'm doing this primarily for is to flush out this specific, specific coolant uh, out of the system, drain this, and then use the new um, EK beta testing, uh, beta, t uh, beta coolant that I have been assigned uh, to test out. But anyway, I hope that this video was a little bit more beneficial to you. Again, normally, you know, you wouldn't have coolant, uh, your, your, your fluid looking like that. Uh, I did do a, another flushing video and it looked very much like this and i can probably show you some of that footage as part of the series but uh, again if you have any questions about how the system works let me know but again you just run this for 12 hours 12 to 24 hours drain it and then fill it with distilled water three times with an hour long interval in between each and then you would simply perform a, um, um, a ph test with some litmus paper and use this little color-coded guide uh, to, ch to check what the ph level is and ideally you want to stay between levels six through eight based on Mayhem's instructions. I do have footage of that uh, process, a very short video that you guys will be able to check on just to kind of see how that system works. All right, so that about wraps up this episode of Mod Science here with me, Robert. And again, I do appreciate you checking out the video. Again, I would have liked to have had more uh, better looking coolant or, or at least fluid running through this thing, but this kind of just shows you how you know, the existing coolant inside of your system. Sometimes you can get all of it out, sometimes you can't. It makes no difference. I'm, that's the sole purpose of this, of part two of Mayhem's Blitz system is to, to flush this thing out. So this again will run for 12 hours, probably run it for a, a closer to 20, 24. I'll drain it and then I'll have uh, updated footage of the final, uh, final um, installation of the new coolant if I can release it. I, again, it's a prototype coolant made available by EK, so we'll see if what they, what they say. If not, then I'll have to hold off on that. But if you stay tuned, I will also have updated footage of my other build, Fury, which is a, um, um, a Ryzen 5 1600 installed into a Gigabyte Aorus Gaming K7 motherboard. I also have Ace, uh, EK's um, AX370 Monoblock installed onto that one. It's also got a custom loop on it. I have EK's Pastel Red running through it. All of which again is inside of a Corsair 570X uh, gaming case. So beautiful machine. I will have more updated footage of that. Check out the site if you haven't already done, uh, done so. That's modscience.net. Um, I'll post articles. I'll have pictures. I'll have video footage, everything uploaded to that site. And then I also do have a Facebook page, Facebook Mod Science. Make sure you go there, like it, like all the photos, share the page with your friends so they can like it. And also, if you find yourself being really interested in this kind of stuff but a little intimidated by it, you know, you could always send me an email. Um, I'm happy to give you any some sort of suggestions. Um, also, if you find yourself being interested in this but just don't have the time or would be interested in, 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 a, in a custom build, you by all means can send me an email and we can talk about having one custom made for you specifically. And again, thanks for checking this out and subscribe if you already have if you haven't already done so and we'll see you here next time. Thanks. Hey everyone, Robert here, Mod Science. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to quickly post um, just a, some uh, some footage of the loop with Mayhem's part two um, having run through it for the past 20 uh, it's probably closer to about nine, uh, 23 hours now. 
Um, but you'll notice that in the previous in the previous uh, part of this video that the um, solution was closer to a nice uh, <laughs> piss colored yellow but anyway it's actually turned to kind of a clear color I think a lot of the um, dye and the coolant that was initially in there has kind of dissipated but um, I don't really know how it all works out but uh, the loop does look much clean uh, much cleaner um, again this is just the uh, the first part of the of the uh, the flushing process so what I have to do at this point is drain the loop uh, three times with 60 minute intervals in between using just distilled water to flush out the rest of the gunk and build up but yeah I, I did want to at least note how the color did change because um, previous again it was very yellow uh, but now it looks kind of clear and uh, has a slight green tint to it just primarily because of the leftover coolant that was in uh, the build last time but anyway uh, there'll be some updated footage of uh, you know the rest of the part two system here in a bit but I at least wanted to provide an update again go ahead and subscribe to the video if you haven't done so already and share it with at least three or four of your friends uh, that you know that are really into this and even if they're not into it share it with them because who knows they may just be uh, be um, uh, be into it as well so anyway thanks again for checking out the video and stay liquid cool